Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. My name is Tom Poland, beaming out to you as always from the white sand of Little Castaways Beach in Queensland, Australia, joined today by Peter Limburg. Peter, g'day, very warm well welcome, sir. Where are you hanging out? Hey, Tom. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm uh, calling in from uh, New York City. Uh, warm uh, New York City at the moment, a block away from Wall Street. You got a new mayor or something there, right? <laughs> Do we? <laughs> oh, you don't know? Oh, man, I have been heads down. This is, uh, yeah, this is, you, this is you, at the end of the quarter. I have been, I've been yeah, you, so much stuff. You just voted, okay, just in case you didn't realize that. All right, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Thanks so much. Yeah, no, I don't have a U.S. passport. I'm a, I'm a, a resident alien, so. All right, cool bananas. Anyway, you do. You got a new mayor. So Peter's the founder and CEO of Mobilo, the company that is making the business card cool again. Love this. So then that's actually the subject of our interview today is how to make business cards cool again. Peter's going to show us how to do that in just seven minutes. Peter, our time starts now, sir. Question number one is who's your ideal client? Ah, yeah. Uh, our ideal client is um, uh, small, medium-sized businesses, fi uh, uh, 50 to 500 employees, um, do lots of handshake deals. So they're still out there meeting people. Uh, think about lawyers uh, on the financial side, maybe insurance companies. Um, think about uh, plumbers, uh, carpenters, like everybody that's, that's doing real work. Uh, car dealers, um, and then uh, uh, real estate brokers, yeah. Yeah, realtors, uh, anyone that's got physical contact with another human being, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and relating to the title or, or the your intro a bit, uh, you know, I can still remember when I got my first business card a long, long time ago, and they, boy, they were cool, right? You looked at it and you yeah. thought, wow, that's, uh, that's, that's me. I've arrived. Title. Yeah, exactly. Uh, logo, title, everything's there. But you know, today, um, I, I, you know, I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't lie if I would say I really hate business cards because they just simply don't connect us to to all the other tools that we're using. Well, that might that might lead us nicely into question number two, which is, and we've got uh, six minutes left. What's the problem you solve? So the problem usually is, you know, imagine yourself if you would have access uh, to all the people that you met and you knew where you met them, if you would have all of their contact details, their phone number, their email address, nicely sitting inside your CRM, that if your, your daily newsletter, your, your weekly, monthly newsletter would actually reach them, if you would have everybody categorized, you know, if you would start doing that today, um, you would miss out on the, on the last couple of years, but at least you know what you're looking forward to. Okay, so, so tell us question three is, we have five minutes left, question three is, what are the symptoms someone's going to be experiencing that would, would give kind of them a heads up that they need to look more at your, your service? Yeah, so it's, it's usually this. Um, you look around your desk and somewhere in a, in a corner or in a drawer, there's this huge stack of business cards. Right. And, you and you said to yourself, someday I'm going to type them all out, put them in my computer and follow up with these people that I've never followed up with. So uh, we often play a game internally, or, or I do this with friends, and say, what do you need to do to 10x your business? Well, just tell me, what needs to happen before you do 10x the revenue that you're, that you're doing today? The trigger is that you start, you start thinking about the real problems. And one of those solutions could be that you follow up, you follow through, you follow back, and actually speak to all the people that you've met and bring them on board inside your funnel and, and actually do the hard work uh, following up. So, so I would say, um, look, at those, look at those cards. And if there's a big stack uh, somewhere in your office, then you have a problem that you need to fix. That, that's the heads up. You need to look at the solution. So question four or four minutes left, what are some of the common mistakes people make when they're trying to solve this problem? They say, well, uh, I'm very good at this. I don't need a system. I don't need an Excel sheet. I don't need a CRM. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll here, trust, right? you know, I'll trust to follow up. I know you're important. I just met you. I almost forgot your name after a second of, of the first right. handshake. Right. But, uh, you know, and then still we trust ourselves. So I've already embraced my flaws and my, uh, my, my, my weaknesses and said, okay, I, I do need help with, um, categorizing the people that I meet, following up, following through, following back, and making sure that, that we actually, you know, uh, in, a, in a nice way, um, remind people that we're there, that we're here to help, and that we, that we follow, uh, follow through, yeah. Perfect, thank you. Three minutes left, sir. 
Question number five, uh, one valuable free action that we could, you could let the audience know that they could take, not going to solve the whole problem, but it might take them a step in the right direction. Yeah, so figure out um, what, what your system is like. How are you meeting potential new customers? Is that online? Is that in real life? And figure out what does that funnel look like for me? How many people do I need to meet before they fit uh, your solution, your product? How many people actually go into a proposal and how many uh, people actually buy? You know, those are, are super simple things, but this is how you get to 10x your business. This is how you figure out whether you're... Your, your funnel is leaking so much that, that you're, you're, not, you're not in a right fit. You don't tell them the right story. You don't find the right people. It could be all kinds of things, but it's really just two numbers. And that is how many people do you meet and how do you meet them? And then how many, what percentage of those turn into uh, a new customer? Nice and, and simple. Yeah. Keep yeah, logging. I think if you, yeah, just like me, simple. S start logging that. Do you give us those, those three numbers again. It's, uh, it's two, it's, it's the top of funnel, so the number of people that you meet, the, the number of leads basically, and then the conversion. What percentage turns into a customer? Even simpler, two, two numbers, thank you. Just start logging that. Great valuable free action you can take folks, just figure out where the leaks are happening in your bucket. Start logging it, very simple. Question six, valuable free resource. So we've got uh, 95 seconds left, one valuable free resource. We could send people to a landing page or website where they can find out more about how it all works. Sure, and uh, this is not uh, the solution to all of your problems, but certainly if you're thinking about wanting to make a little bit more revenue or close some more deals or have a higher chance of closing more deals, go to mobilocard.com, mobilocard.com, and um, start uh, by logging all of those contacts that you make. Use our lead generation mode to, uh, in a video call, in a conference call, in a, an, an, an online meeting with 30 people, in, in real life, uh, in the coffee shop, wherever somebody asks for your phone number, use this tool to not only share your contact details, but exchange contact details so you have their contact details. So you'll be in control of the conversation. You'll be able to follow up. You'll be able to send information and have a good conversation. And, you know, you know start with the intention to help somebody, not to sell. But start with the intention. Let me see what I can do for you. Can I help you get a new customer? Can I help you get a better supplier? And if you start with those two things, everything's going to be okay. great. Thank you, sir. So that's M-O-B-I-L-O card.com. Uh, we've got 25 seconds left. What's the one question I should have asked you but didn't? Huh. Oh, yeah. If um, it's, a, it's a good question, Tom. Ask me um, if this is the end of clammy handshakes. And is it the end of clammy handshakes? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll certainly be able to. Uh, you know, I think I see a lot of fist bumps. Uh, I see a lot of uh, uh, people high fiving. Uh, but uh, um, with mobile card, you can exchange contact details without Peter, thanks contact. Thanks so much for your time. Yes. Appreciate That's your input. End. Cheers. Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.